guys doing today? Huh? What we're going to be talking about today, fellas, is why isn't your chest growing from doing flat bench press, okay? Simple, guys. Some workouts don't work out for certain individuals. You guys need to understand this. If you're not contracting your chest and really feel it on your chest when you're doing a flat bench press, your chest is not going to grow as big as you would like it to grow. Some people just have crazy genetics and whenever they do a flat bench press, this shit just grows like a motherfucking balloon. You know, and those are outliers, okay? Not everybody who performs a flat bench press is going to feel it on their chest. Some people are more arm dominant like me. So when I do a flat bench press, I feel it on my fucking triceps and little or minimal chest activation. And why, it's just simply because of my leverages and my genetics and a lot of factors. I just simply don't feel it on my chest. So for you guys who are struggling to grow your chest, I would recommend trying new exercises. For example, one that I've noticed for all my guys who are arm dominant and not chest dominant, what's a really good workout is the chest flies. Machine or dumbbell. Now you really wanna go light and you wanna make sure you're going not like this, but like right here, like at a 60 degree angle, not right here, but 60 degrees. And that's the way you wanna do it. And on the chest flies on the machine, it's preferably you go down here and not up here. And the, I mean, you could try it out, just try different variations. But me personally, what I've noticed is my chest fucking grows like a motherfucker when I do a lot of chest flies and just overall get the blood flowing in that area. Because what a lot of us do is we just warm up with a flat bench press, warm up, warm up, and then we, that's what we do, that's our warm ups. But guys, if you really want to feel, feel it on your chest, you still can perform a flat bench press. Just go ahead and pre-activate it, you know, pre-fatigue it, or even fatigue your arms first. You know, you have to try different shit out. But this is what I've noticed. If I notice if I warm up my chest really good with chest flies, machine, or dumbbell, or push-ups, like close, pretty close to my body, like right here. I've noticed that after I do all that warm up shit and I move on to the flat bench press, I feel it on my chest like crazy. Why? Because I pre activated my muscle. Okay, and you can do this with any muscle group. You could do this with your triceps, your shoulders, whatever muscle group you're lacking in. You could pre fatigue it or pre activate it and go ahead and do that exercise that's gonna hit the that muscle group of the day. Okay, you have to do, try different shit out though. This is based off experience, and this is my opinion, this is my perspective. Someone else might tell you something else, but me personally, I've been working out for seven years consistently. Mm. And what I've noticed from my experience and my failures and my successes is that if you're arm dominant like me, you want to pre-activate your chest and go ahead and do your, your workout of the day for the chest, okay? Now you can you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. You can go ahead and do a push up. You can do a chest fly. You can do machine presses, whatever. Just don't hit the flat bench press first. Go ahead and do some other type of chest workout and go light and make sure you really feel it. Even chest flies on the motherfucking machine. Go ahead and do that. The cable machine. You can even try that out. Or you could try dips. Or you could try, you know, cl fucking close grip diamond push-ups whatever works for you where where whatever workouts you feel it most on your chest you do that first and then you go ahead and do the flat bench press the flat bench press is very good just to build density just simply because you could load more weight on the barbell but if you really want to focus just on your chest and get that chest activation i wouldn't do that first i would go ahead and do a workout that actually makes you feel it hella hard in your fucking chest and then move on to the flat bench press Cause I'm not downgrading the flat bench press, but a lot of people overhype it. A lot of people get on the bandwagon that, oh, you must flat bench press to get a big chest. No, you don't. You don't. Especially if you don't feel it on your chest, you're most likely going to build up your triceps like crazy and your front delts. And that's nothing bad. But if you're trying to build your chest up, the fuck is the point, right? So my two cents is this. If you don't feel it on your chest, when you're flat bench pressing, I would highly recommend finding another workout that you feel it on your chest and then you could do the flat bench press on your second or third workout of the day. 
Okay, just don't do it your first workout. Why? Because you don't feel it. What's the fucking point if you don't feel it, right? Unless you're trying to feel it on your triceps, then go ahead, on your arms, whatever, your front delts, go ahead. But if you're a guy like me who's arm dominant and your chest doesn't activate as much as it should when you're doing a flat bench press, hey, you gotta try new shit out, guys. And you guys need to understand this. Flat bench press is not gonna get your chest big. It's not. It depends on everyone. It depends on whether or not it works for you. It depends on your leverages, your genetics, and whatnot. Okay? Maybe some individuals react very, very good when they're flat bench pressing and their chest grows, but some individuals don't. You know? And the reason why is because of our leverages and just genetics overall. Okay? And maybe you need that mind and muscle connection, but I don't even think it's that. I just th think that you need to preactivate your chest and you'll feel it a lot more. I guarantee you that. It's like you need to warm up. Like for example, if you don't feel it on your biceps when you're doing the arm curl, you gotta first of all, get your form on point, get your fucking, your form on point, make sure you're doing it right. And then after you still don't feel it, you gotta, pre you gotta preactivate it. And how do you do that? You basically get, get on a preacher curl. Cause that's pretty much nothing else but biceps. So you do that for a couple of sets and reps, move on to the barber curl, whatever you're doing, dumbbell, hammer curls, and then proceed and you're gonna feel a lot more. Why? Because you warmed up that certain area on your fucking body, okay? It's like, you don't expect to do a fucking sprint if you don't fucking do warm up sprints first, right? You don't expect to get a good timing on your fucking mile if you don't just practice doing miles all the time, you know, just get a warm up, and then try to go faster and then faster and faster. That's how you, you gotta approach your workouts. You can't just like, expect to go out, you know, your first set of the day, your fucking first workout of the day, go ham and expect that shit to grow if you don't even fucking have blood flow in that area. Now you're just training your whole nervous system. If you really wanna target a specific muscle, you gotta get blood flow in that area and then proceed to dominate that shit up for the workout, okay? If you're really trying to grow your chest, you really got to focus on making sure there's blood in that area, making sure your veins are popping and whatnot, and then proceed to work it out and make sure you don't lose the pump. You can try different methods, okay? You can try pre-fatiguing your arms so your chest is doing the work, or you could pre-activate your chest and do the work, or you can just do whatever the fuck you want to do and just keep doing what you're doing. But this is my recommendation. If you notice your chest isn't, isn't growing, get blood flow in that area, go ahead and do the flat bench press. And if that doesn't work, pre-fatigue pre your fucking, your triceps and your whole arm, and then move on to the flat bench press. You have to try different methods. Different methods work for different individuals, okay? Not, I can't just say do this and it's gonna work for all you guys, why? Because that's just generalizing. I'm being very specific in this video for you guys who, who, who are struggling to build up their chest. Why? Because I feel you, bro. If you got some big ass arms, but you got no chest, I mean, it's cool to have big arms, but you also want to have a big chest, right? My point being, guys, I relate to you like a motherfucker, so I'm trying to help you guys out. Real shit. Because I've already been through the process, I've already been through the failures, you know? And I know that my chest isn't the biggest, but let me tell you this, bro, I used to have a flat fucking chest. I used to have a flat chest. You even go on my Instagram, go all the way below, like 2016. 2018, bro, my chest was fucking flat. It was non-existent. Now I have something, you know? Why? Because I started changing up my routine, my chest work workouts. I started approaching my chest workouts more differently. Why? Because I know that's my weak point. So what I do is I pre-activate it or pre or pre <coughs> or pre-fatigue my fucking arms and proceed to fucking kill my chest. I do whatever works for me. There's no right or wrong. Some days I don't even flat bench press. I just go ahead and do some incline, some dips, some cable, some fucking front raises, and that's it. Sometimes, guys, you don't need to hit the traditional lifts. Why? Because it's all about hype. Don't just hop onto a trend if it doesn't work for you. Don't just start doing deadlift squats and bench press if you notice that shit doesn't work for you. And I honestly believe those workouts are wonderful. They're amazing. But if it doesn't work for you, don't fucking do them. You know, you're not going to hear this from other people. They're going to tell you, you got to bench press, you got to deadlift, you got to squat. Why? Because it's the fucking traditional lifts. No, nah, I don't give a fuck, bro. You do whatever the fuck works for you. If you notice doing leg press grows the fuck out of your legs and not squats, keep doing leg presses. If you notice your quads grow bigger when you're doing leg extensions and not goblet squats, do leg extensions. 
who the fuck is gonna tell you what to do if you know what works for you and you know how your body responds? Exactly. And those are my two cents. Do whatever the fuck works for you and keep doing that. And don't listen to people. It's not it's okay to change up your routine, but it's not okay to listen to somebody who doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. Let's keep it a buck. Alright, my G. So that's it with this video. Peace. And may the most high be with you, alright? Chi ching. ching.